What's up, Zillinators? Uh, it's 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 me here, Evan, right? Uh, I'm with my good friend. Hello, I harm small animals. Oh, um, we're doing a Halo tier list because I like pee pee in my mouth, like just sliding all over my face and shit. Like a wet worm just noodling its way over my face and shit. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so here's the deal. I've been on Halo's PP lately. I've been riding Bungie like crazy. Like a jackhammer. The Fleegan 2 reference. If you know, you know. You know what I'm talking about. The guy says that she wrote him like, okay. Um... I have also seen that movie. Yeah, but I've seen it more than you have. Alright, go fuck yourself. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here's a breakdown. I'm gonna I'm gonna just tell y'all what's gonna happen. The first the first like all the way up until three, they're all gonna be amazing and then the rest are gonna suck. But Alright. Halo Combat Evolved. The That's evolution scary. of combat. Um yeah. Honestly, I think that, okay. So, the Sangheili are awesome. Everyone likes fighting the elites. You know, I think fighting the Sangheili is way more entertaining than fighting those faggots, the brutes. Right? The Jiralhane. Um, and then, of course, you got your, you got, you got the Sentinels. My main man, 343 Guilty Spark. 343. But, good old Guilty Spark. You blow up the fucking Halo ring, which is awesome. Uh, the gameplay feels nice. The uh, visuals still hold up. We're not talking about the anniversary. The anniversary game. graphics look good. Yeah, but not as good as the old ones. Well, yeah, they don't have the, they don't have the, uh, the old 2000s charm to them. Mm, uh, the overall just it's the game's very atmospheric and, and Master Facts. Chief's cool <laughs> yeah Master Chief's awesome sir yeah okay <laughs> um so yeah Halo Combat Evolved the, the multiplayer is fun too yeah, the pistol I think is fucking overpowered the, the the pistol is the anal decimator uh, what is it? What was it? Two or three headshots that? I think it was two. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, that shit's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. If you're playing campaign, even on legendary, you got a plasma pistol and you got the magnum. If you can hit your shots, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, Halo CE easy S tier. Uh, speaking of S tier, Halo Two. Uh, S tier above. Yeah. Uh, Halo 2 is like, oh my goodness, new enemy types, um, they refine the hunters, the hunters are cool, you know what the hunters are, right? Like, yeah, they're the big, they're, they're the big dudes, and then, uh, you get the bug enemy types, you get to, like, actually fight and beat the shit out of the prophet, uh, the arbiter, the arbiter is fucking awesome, uh, dual wielding is introduced, they introduced the, um, they introduced the SMG, which, like, the actual SMG, which is fucking awesome, by the way. It tears, it rips ass, you know. Uh, I think it's also when the beam rifle got introduced. The one the sniper jackals use. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I love the sniper jackals so much. I love playing Halo 2 on Legendary. I'm going to kill myself. At least it's not the ending of Halo 1, <laughs> But, um, yeah, multiplayer is better in two. The, I do personal, this is all personal preference, I do prefer the uh, campaign in the first game, but overall, uh, but two's campaign so great, um, and I mostly play Halo for the multiplayer, so whatever, and I do think visually the game's better than the first one. And, uh, it's still, but it still maintains the vibrant, 
colors of the first game that they kind of started dropping starting with three but um yeah two is a great game three stays true enough to the originals yeah i think um it's it's not a bad sequel but we'll get to that but halo 2 uh halo 2 also um i mean you get introduced to the prophets uh you 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 find out about the heretic the arbiter side of the story is phenomenal um man it's it's very well polished the gunplay is really well polished uh you know the the magnum isn't as op magnum's still good don't get me wrong that's that shit fucks butts but i mean it's not as loco as it is in the first game uh also no flamethrower to my knowledge the the the, the flamethrower in the second one in the I first don't one recall. it fucks butts yeah in the first game the flamethrower is fucking insane yeah but... it fucks butts um what else is introduced in halo 2 uh the anniversary cutscenes look really good i don't know if you they look really cinematic they look good i just again there's something about the old ones that just are more visually appealing um i think it's cool that they added health regeneration instead of having to rely on health packs makes the campaign a lot easier um yeah which i they they brought back the health pack system it makes sense in odst mm -hmm. and in reach too i guess because you don't play as a spartan four or is noble six is noble six a, is, is noble six a spartan four I think so, isn't Are I I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Right. But yeah, my my main man uh yeah, Noble 6. Rest in peace. Um so yeah, that's that's Halo 2. Halo 3 ODST A tier. A tier. Yeah. Um the campaign is really short. It, is it doesn't. I, I don't recall if it has multiplayer or not. It has the one mode. Firefight. Yeah. Firefight's fun. Um, you know. Firefight's probably best in ODST. If that. If yeah. It was in any of them. Reach. Yeah. Reach is Reach is Firefight is fucking crazy. I do prefer ODST's Firefight though. But yes, the ODST is a good game. I got it for Christmas when I was a kid. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I like the film noir, the 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 the, the beautiful soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Fuck these brutes, sexy jazz. Um, if I was willing to edit the video, I would put that meme on screen at this point. But fuck these brutes. Um, the engineers are cute little dudes. You know, they're cool. I like making shit explode. Game looks good. I mean, yeah, the game the game looks phenomenal. Um. I like the interface a lot too, and stepping away from Master Chief is is a cute decision. It's a good idea. It was the first one to step away from Master Chief, I, I think. Well, unless you count playing as the Arbiter in the second one. Yeah, but, but that wasn't a complete like step away. Like M Master Chief is completely absent from ODST. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Halo ODST, A tier. For cutie pies, for certain. Halo three, uh, A tier behind or S tier behind Halo. Yeah, it's I. Yeah. Um, the 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 the, the, the multiplayer. We got Forge. We got Forge in Halo three, which is very important. I fucking love Forge. Um, damn that that is a pretty good inclusion. The multiplayer system. Um. Multiplayer was peak in two, but three is still yeah is still good. Uh, I think like, I think Halo Three is one of the most balanced. Like, um, they introduced the Spartan Laser, which the Spartan Laser, fucks butts. Um, if you're playing Valhalla, you go to the middle of the map. You find I think the Spartan la Lasers in the middle of the map. You go to Valhalla, um, and because both sides start with a banshee. Oh yeah. I think Valhalla was first introduced in 3, which is, like, probably one of the greatest maps of all time. Not that the other two. Um, 
I am gonna forget their names. I would forget their names while I'm making a fucking Halo video. <laughs> but, um, the prison map we played, or the, it's supposed to emulate a prison. I really like that one from the first one. But Halo has a lot of, uh, you know, cool maps. The thing that brings this game down mostly the what? is... The thing? It's, is the campaign. The campaign drags really bad in the beginning. <laughs> it is, it is, it is. Um, I like the, I like the brute combat, I like the combat section in the first, like, at the tail end of the first mission, and the second mission, the second mission isn't even really that bad, but it is a, it is a hard to work through, like, on your first playthrough, because there's so much, like, to the map. You have to go here, go there, go. It's like, really tedious. Fuck. Yeah. Um, the game picks up eventually, but it. Uh, the mission Cortana. Fuck that mission. It's not the library. Oh god. But the library, the library is is really annoying but fun. Like you have Guilty Spark guiding you around, and while you're angry at the game. Because when you have Flood spawn behind you and you have the big dudes fucking explode and take your shield off. Half-Life has a lot of dudes spawning behind you. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, when you got dudes spawning behind you and they're giving you bag shots, right? That's crazy. <laughs> when you had dudes giving you bag shots, um, you're going to get very angry. Uh, Halo caused a lot of controller slams. Um, as bad as Rocket League. We don't talk about Rocket League. Fuck that game. Uh, yeah. When you had dudes giving you bag shots, um, that that makes you very angry. Cortana, Cortana is just slow. The Grave Mind is fucking. I would rather staple my penis shut than listen to that faggot talk anymore. Fuck the Grave Mind. Um. The design for High Charity is cool. The ship. You yeah. Know. Uh, yeah. Um, the absence of the Ar Arbiter in Cortana is also, you know, just, you gotta thug that shit out. Um, yeah. It's a really damn good conclusion to a trilogy. Yeah. I would like to thank, uh, my personal thank you goes out to the... Halo 3, um, the Halo 3 Battle Rifle, and the Halo 3 Covenant Carbine for helping me thug that shit out, and the Energy Swords on the ground in Cortana for helping oh, me yeah. thug that shit out, um, yeah, so, Halo 3, really cute. Halo Reach. A tier. Halo Reach Around. Um, I like the space mission where you fucking shoot ships and shit. That's cool. Noble Six is cool. I like Noble Six. He's cute. The multiplayer is quite lacking in reach. Um, <laughs> I like the needle rifle. Yeah. It's what I killed the one uh, Halo dev with, which I had the achievement for. If you're listening to this and you think I didn't uh, kill yourself, I have the achievement for it. And... I clipped it. I showed you a clip, didn't mm -hmm. I? I'm, yeah, I love you. Okay. But, yeah, he was mad, too. I got a headshot with a needle rifle. Cooked. Um, Halo Reach has some good maps, actually. Uh, Spartan no, Lock. I'm if, not saying it doesn't. It's just compared to the first three multiplayer. Eh, I'd yeah. much rather play those. <laughs> the, color, the color scheme in Reach isn't as good, nearly as good. No, like it's too bright. That and the colors are they lack the they, it's the start of the point where the game started to look less like Halo and more like not Halo. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah. Uh the Spartan abilities was a it was a cool idea, but it takes away from like the general Halo feeling like sprinting. Sprinting shouldn't be in Halo. No. Spartan Lock is gay. If you use Spartan Lock in anything other than Firefight, uh, you get no butt. The jetpack, the jetpack's cool, I guess. Um, the cloak doesn't fucking work! 
active camo is um also hologram hologram is fucking stupid um the health pack system returns it's better than it is in ce the uh -huh. health system yeah uh, the armor, the armor isn't as powerful, but you lose like actual health, not as quickly. Um, shout out to the DMR. If you get good with the DMR, you become a fucking demon. You become a phenom. I do have to say though, Reach is really overrated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. People love this game, and most of it I cannot see. Well, it's like, I mean, the campaign isn't as good as the games we previously mentioned. Um, it doesn't have sexy jazz that ODST does, so it's going to go behind oh, ODST. No. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. Halo 4 C tier. Uh, we're actually, we're going to we're gonna avoid talking about Halo th uh, 4. Uh, to talk about Halo Wars. Halo Wars, the okay. thing that Halo was supposed to be, but it's not on here. Fuck this tier list maker. Um, and now... You could say to yourself, Evan, you could have made your own tier list. And to you, I say, kill yourself. Fuck you. Um, but Halo Wars, the original Halo Wars. Halo I, Wars is great. I would put Halo. I would put Halo Wars above Reach, and I'd put Halo Wars two behind. Or I'd put it. I'd put it above Reach behind. But I love Halo Wars. Halo Wars is awesome. I um, adored those games as a kid. The only problem with Halo Wars 2 is that it takes place during Halo 4 or between Halo 4 and 5 and that narrative is horrible. Oh my god, it is going to be a shit on fest for fucking Halo 4. The 343 three, three ones. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we should have done that. God damn it. That was that sounded more like the the Left 4 Dead 2 ending. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Halo 4. Fuck you. C tier. It's not. It's not Halo 5. Actually, you know what? 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 <laughs> Are you doing this just so we don't have to talk about them? <laughs> we'll talk about them, but that's where they're going. Um, Halo 4. You know what? Halo 4. Oh, Jesus Christ. Halo 4 is a love story between Master Chief and Cortana. Don't get me wrong, Cortana's bad as fuck. I would personally. Fucking stupid, though. Uh, the fact that Cor uh, hey, um, Master Chief has the biggest Oedipus complex ever. Uh, um, Cortana's modeled after Master Chief's hot mom. And, yeah, right. Did, did you not know that? Yeah, that's crazy. Um, um that's... Okay. <laughs> John. His name is John, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, John117. Um, yeah. So, Halo 4 is really, is really, is really dumb. Uh, it's not good. It's a love story. It's visually, the game kind of looks like shit. Game plays. Yeah, it's... Nah. The fucking story is awful. The the forerunners, the forerunner artifacts, uh, artifacts, um, all that shit is it's it's cool lore, but the way it's like pulled off, like when I was thinking of the the prophets and the forerunners and all that shit, 
before the detonation of the halo rings, the halo weapons, you know, and, you know, you, you, lo you look at Halo 2's story and how all of this kind of branches off from Halo 2's story. Um, the continuation fucking sucks. Yeah. Halo 4 just sincerely felt like they threw something together. They dropped the ball. Um... You know what I think they should have done? So the Sangheili go into civil war on Sangheilios, the the Sangheili, the the elite's homeworld, right? I think if you would have, I think now it's it's after Reach where you don't really play as a Master Chief, or and after ODST where you also don't. I think they should have gotten Master Chief and Arbiter to team up again to help you know our, the Arbiter's faction win. The Civil War. I think they go into Civil... I, I, I might be mistaken. The Sangheili have something with Revolution Against the Covenant or something like that, right? I think it would have been really cool if they made a game where Master Chief helps the Arbiter win the Sangheili Civil War. Yeah. But, now, one could say that the Master Chief would have no desire to help the Arbiter or um anything like that. And to that I say, at the end of the game, in Halo 3, the Arbiter and Master Chief really warm up to each other. The Arbiter comes back for Master Chief at the end of Cortana. He's the only one that shows up. He also shows up with a fucking flamethrower. Yeah, that would have been nice for the fucking rest of the mission. Um, da -da -da -da. Halo 5. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? Halo 5 fucking sucks. <laughs> Halo 5 is horrible. Oh my god. I mean, it's the only game in the franchise that I know of that's rated T. Um, yeah, it's rated T for terrible. Yeah. It's um the only positive I could possibly come up with for this game is fucking it's cool that you can make your own maps. Even you can do that in Forge, too. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> 5 is nothing. <laughs> Halo 5 sucks. The multiplayer sucks. Um, even Halo 4 had a, it had a better multiplayer. That game's weapon balancing system was terrible. Um, Halo 5 has Spartan Locke. He's alright, I guess. He's an alright character. He's even, an alright concept. Even the box art for 5 is just lazy and stupid. Halo 5, like, they marketed the game off of Spartan Lock and Master Chief fighting each other off, like, fighting each other in the story. Yeah, that's cool when it happens once. And then the rest of the, and then the rest of the game is disappointing. Yeah, no, it's not a good game. It's really one of the worst first-person shooters I have subjected myself to. It's boring, it's stupid, and it's the reason why I haven't even touched Infinite yet. <laughs> Halo 5, Halo 5 is like watching your grandmother get pushed down the stairs by cartel members and having the shit kicked out of her. Nah, I'd rather see that than Halo 5 again. Oh, fair. Um, Halo Infinite steps in the right direction, looks good, you know, looks good like it's a, it's a modern game, so it's gonna look good. They did, they took better art directions with this game yeah, I've seen then snippets of it from the Halo plane and it looks visually pleasing and I just I can't bring myself to play it because get rid of sprinting <laughs> can we please can we please do away with sprint not every game needs to be fast paced that's what that's what made the original Halo so good they weren't fast paced it it required you to it, it I don't I don't know it it didn't require you to ha have the good aim heavy body armor it made sense for you to not sprint right <laughs> well it, well not not even that you just don't need to sprint it's like call of duty 2 you don't need to fucking sprint yeah right um it makes the game feel larger longer and just more atmospheric and you, you can, don't sprint <laughs> yeah you can you can enjoy the game you 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 can enjoy the game by slowing down 
and just and just take me. So kill it. You just do do away with spring. Um, the battle rifle is a pile of shit. Now the battle rifle. Now I will say that the battle of rifle and pretty much every or not the battle rifle, the assault rifle, the one you spawn with the 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 the, the, the sixty four. Um, except in except in Halo three and on, I guess. It, but you know the the assault rifle you spawn with. Um, things a piece of shit. It takes an entire clip to uh, dwindle an enemy's health down. Why why do we have to have that? That doesn't need to happen. I'm tired of having to pick up like the battle rifle, for example. That thing fucking melts. You get headshots with that thing. You get three three consecutive headshot bursts. Cooked. Um. So yeah. Uh, the grenade, the grenade system, like, how grenades work in Infinite is also really nice. Like, I don't know, they feel, they feel like more balanced grenades than in any other Halo. Except for the plasma grenades in Halo 1. <sighs> um, I like grenades. So did the World at War veteran. Yeah. Oh my god. Fuck that game. Fuck you, Treyarch. This is my this is my obligatory fuck you, Treyarch of the of the of the of the video. Um, that's gonna do it, isn't it? Yeah. No, there's not much else. It, it ends on a sour note. <laughs> it does end on a sour note. Um, <laughs> let's not do that. Remember how good these games are. <laughs> Buy the Master Chief Collection and stop playing these ones play these ones or if you want to go the extra mile be me and purchase an entire goddamn original xbox just to play the originals <laughs> yeah right right <laughs> oh my god they they play really well on the originals mm -hmm. but yeah it's gonna do it for this video um thank you for cascading along with us again congratulate <laughs> congratulations on a thousand subscribers once again thank you i love you okay um yeah we're gonna start recording a different type of video together <laughs> a half-life tier list yeah right <laughs> right right homosex all right peace out